Healing asthma is easy. Now, I know that's a pretty bold statement, but I used to have asthma, but it's healed now. Now, how do you go about healing asthma? Well, it's very easy. It's understanding that asthma on some level is serving you. That asthma on some level is serving you. It's trying to protect you and keep you safe. Yeah, that may be hard to understand as a teenager or an adult, but if you can trace it back to experiences in your childhood, even in your early teens, there were traumatic experiences. And those experiences, whatever they were, they triggered a response in you where what we label as asthma is something where you withdraw yourself from the world. Now people with asthma, the tendency is, and I know I used to do it myself, is that they tend to pull themselves back. They don't want to be in the spotlight because being in the spotlight is unsafe. And, and it's a programming they've learned since very young that in order to be safe, they've got to withdraw. So I remember when I was had asthma, it made me withdraw from sports, even though I was on the you know, really good at certain sports and I was about to go to the next level, it made me withdraw. But it was just experiences from my childhood that had taught me that being out and being exposed and being vulnerable is dangerous. And so the asthma was my subconscious mind trying to protect me. Yeah, Your unconscious mind, is its duty is to protect you, keep you safe. That's what it does. And when you have traumatic experiences in your past, your unconscious mind will store those memories, store those experiences, and protect you from any event in the future that is possibly gonna cause that again. So hence we come across things like self-sabotage, the concept of self-sabotage, where you work really hard towards a goal, and then at the last minute you do something silly. Maybe you don't just, you don't take that final step when it's just so close. That goal is within your grasp and you don't take that step. That's sabotage, self-sabotage, my friend. And all that is is your subconscious mind trying to protect you. And the, the way to get through that is to go back to your past and work through and get your unconscious mind to understand that you've learned those lessons from that past trauma and that you can actually move forward. And also disrupting the neurology in the present and, and any anchors that you have in the present around that previous trauma. So back to asthma. That's why asthma is quite easy to fix. Quite easy to fix. What happens when people grow out of asthma? And that's a common thing which people say, I grew out of asthma. Well, what happens is, is you grow up. Yeah, you grow up, yes, your body becomes stronger, but also you begin to change. And, and maybe you join a religious group or something and you find spirituality or something, and you, you tend to find peace for the, on a subconscious and a conscious level towards those people in the past that hurt you. You also have a different association. You hang around people who, who are different, who maybe have different values, uh, maybe more loving people, and that results in healing for you. Look, I'm generalizing there, but when I hear people say they've grown out of asthma, I, I tend to look at them and they've changed their lives. They're different people from when they were in their younger days. So asthma is quite easy to heal, you know, it, but it depends. You know, a person with asthma could have, you know, ranged from one puffer a day to being on a, you know, nebulizer every single day. So there's a range. So working with asthma, when a person's on one puffer a day, one or two sessions with me is quite easy to bam, pop that away. But if the person's on a nebulizer, well, there's a lot of deep emotional trauma. There's a lot of stored emotions, there's a lot of protection going on with the unconscious mind. And, and that asthma is just one symptom of deeper deeper emotional causes that need to be worked through. Yeah, so, so that's why people can do the Healing Warrior program, which is three months with me. And we go through everything. We go through every bad memory, every traumatic experience. And we, we really work through the shadow. We drop the mask of self-righteousness and self, self-hatred. And you come to that place of pure love for yourself and other people in the world. So, and, and along the way you heal. And, hey, that's no big deal. Even more important than healing and getting rid of the asthma is the deeper, deeper sense of understanding and, and infinite potential that you have to accomplish anything you want in the rest of your life. So that healing is quite easy. It's very easy to do. And more importantly, what you get from working with me is that you start getting that sense that you have infinite potential to accomplish any goal you seek simply because you are tapping into that reservoir of unconditional love, which is your true nature and my true nature. You're dropping the mask. You've cleansed and healed, healed your shadow. And really, you can just go and do whatever you want. Absolutely whatever you want. Okay, this is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. You can hear your life now. Have an awesome day.